Howdy folks, happy weekend everybody. Justin here, we're hopping onto the ladder with Mono Neutral Singleton because you guys are gluttons for punishment, or at least watching me get punished. And uh, somebody in, in uh, the YouTube comments said they would name their kid after me if I won a game on the ladder with this. So, see what happens. I gave it a couple tries against the uh, expert AI. I won one and I lost one. I have tremendous faith that Bloomin' Coal Pizza, yeah. <laughs> that one game will be enough of this. <laughs> They're playing Crusader, all right. So if we curb out with our with our cheap stuff, maybe we can pull this off. All right, they have the Ring of Magicka, not ideal, but we do have a really reasonable hand. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. <clears throat> Four Sworn Guide. Some of these cards are not gonna be cards you see a whole lot of. Uh, I kind of had to. Get creative with my choices here. You know, we go all the way from Shadow Mirror to Odeving and Parthenax. But I'm ready to give this a shot. I don't think we play into Shadow Mirror naked on the board. Uh, I think we have to kind of grind him out. I assume we go bigger than he does. Rift Thane. Okay, cool. Let's rock. Um, there we go. Get that value going. Right into the shadow lane is an interesting move by our opponent, considering uh, the only charge creature in uh, neutral is Shadow Mare. But we'll see. Um, if his plan is to play and use a Morkel Gatekeeper to hide this behind, we can Shadow Mare and trade off our Reconstructed Spider to get through it. And we have some pretty nice prophecies. Um, Resolute Ally. Steadfast. Uh, not what I was expecting. Okay. Barded Gar. Hmm. Well. We'll just roll like that. <clears throat> Staying into the shadow lane, though. That's, that's an interesting move. East March Crusader. Okay. So I can Shadow Mirror him for one, drop this guy down as a 3-3, or I can play Set's Masterwork. Drop both these guys down. And I'm going to put him over here so he doesn't just get a free eat. I assume he's not doing any trading. I, I, I'm i guessing that's what his plan is. But, we'll see what we can do. Right into the shadow lane. As far as life gain goes, I mean, it's really just, uh, um, I guess there's a few things. Uh, we can get a drain creature with, uh, fabricate, which would be my favorite way to do this. Stealing charge with Penitus Oculatus Agent. Okay. Don't make me laugh. No other play. Orb of Vermina. Yeah, his cards have to be better than mine. Oh yeah. Wait. Did you hear that? Absolutely. Fantastic. Okay. Getting that discount there, fantastic as well. We'll draw two cards a turn for a couple turns. And uh See if we can't pull this off. Might have to just indiscriminately wabajack things too. But being able to play Dwarven Centurion next turn is going to be nice. Sure. Not a huge deal because it doesn't advance his board. No prophecy, but we did a Dwarven Armaments, which is kind of interesting. There's a plan. There's a Roman Profiteer, sure thing. Ravenous Crocodile. Let's see what we draw. Piercing Javelin. Oh. Let's lock down this lane. Put that over there. I'd love to see him drop some huge creature so that we can Javelin it and get some tempo that way. 
good to know, though, that he's running Piercing Javelin. Makes made, made playing just Dwarven Centurion under the board a little worse. We gotta we gotta get some good stuff though, and we also need to get a lot of value off of what we have in order to win this one. Or we just start pushing face. I mean, maybe we can race him. I think we have to get that off the table. But then I think I think we might just swing for six. Fell the Mighty. Okay. Quite a bit of removal in this dude's deck. Whew. Or Clan Captain. To make sure he breaks the rune, I guess. Crushing Blow. Good, I can clear that. Sparking Spider. Let's get our last card. Uh, yes. A little distraction might prove useful. Do I want to Forsworn Guide this? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. We have Presence on the board. We're only at 15, but we have good removal, good single target removal. Uh, you know, we have a Wabajack. It might be time to start Wabajacking our guys, too. This is going actually better than either of the games I played against the AI. <laughs> Now we want to draw Fabricate, or mm, Gold Brand would be nice. Okay. So I can develop Wabajack and Javelin. The Dark Brotherhood is a pox, okay. and I shall cure it. So let's start to draw. Totems. A little distraction might be Reach is ours. <clears throat> okay. I thought about holding on to that guy till I gain till I maybe drew the light the one that can give my fact totems life gain when I play them, but I I can't take any more damage, and I'm basically gaining three life here instead of two life. Um, you know, maybe he has another Crusader's Assault. If he does, that's too bad. We know he has Javelins and Fell the Mighties, though, right? So, like, relying on just winning with a Parthenax, Odeving, Dwarven, Colossus... That's that's unreliable. That's I love seeing that. Shield breaker. That's unfortunate. Let's hit a prophecy, please. Odeving. Midnight snack can reduce Odeving. Is someone out there? <laughs> Alright. Lane looks secure. <laughs> okay. Now please dude, just dump your hand so I can Odeving it all away. Charge creatures. Is over. Fifth Legion it's trainer. Not a act. problem. Cast in the time. On my discount guy. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mechanical ally. Let's draw a card. Every card triggers this. All right. Ooh, drain creature. <laughs> oh my god, dude, someone's getting named Justin. <laughs> this dude's... <pr> <laughs> what do you got, man? What do you got? You 
can't let my drain creature live. Manticora? What? What am I playing against? Holy crap. Wow. Alright. Okay. Holy crap. <clears throat> Javelin. Okay. Got Reach here. Mud Crab Ankle Snapper. Broom Profits here. This is too exciting. I will prepare something special for them. Okay. Sure. Still have twelve thirteen. Ooh, that was a real awful draw too. I would love to draw a tear. Okay, we had a prophecy. By our service, we honor kind. I'll see if we're just dead. Got nine on board. Our removal spell for this plus the charge creature. Or a crushing blow, and we're gone. You cannot hope to outrun destiny. Now I think we win. No, no, I don't. Never mind. I take that back. We have lost this game because we're playing against whatever this is. Wow. You can't escape. It's brutal. Absolutely brutal. You are spoiled by flag. Okay. What do we got? Parthenax. Give me some good stuff. Solter. Solter. We're unrelenting force. Okay. What can I salt air back? It'll all cost one less. I can bring back Marked Man. I can bring back Evermore Steward. That has Breakthrough. I can Unrelenting Force something, but I don't want to. I want to hold on to that. So, I'm going to salt air back Marked Man first. Then I'm going to salt air back Evermore Steward. What do we think he's got Dawn's Wrath and stuff like that? What are your intentions? Wait. Did you hear that? Oh my god, I could have triggered that and gotten an 8 8 instead. Well, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Either way, this will definitely trigger next turn and give me an 8-8 with guard because every card in my deck is neutral. What do we got, man? What do we have? I'm hoping that playing it like this keeps him from getting a 0-3 with guard. Well, 
Well, we draw an Odaving and Parthenax. <laughs> stress Siege or Stress Makai. Okay, we go to 8. Dawn's Wrath and I'll lose. Almost certainly. I mean, I put my 8-8 eight, eight over here. I'll take them with okay. Me. I can. I, I was saving on Relenting Force too for Spider tokens. Yeah, Decora here. We're gonna have a bad time. Holy shit balls! My middle name is Lee. Your kid's gonna be named Justin Lee. See you on the ladder. Ha <laughs> ha.